I'm not gonna fucking, you know, hit my wife. But. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a squirter, dude? I think so. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not making the fifth episode. <laughs> <laughs> Fans, you're gonna pull up? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to another fucking episode of the podcast. Today, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna start off talking about uh, my man Shane Gillis and how he's bringing back gay, retard, <laughs> what else did you say? Cracker. I don't Can know, I, I didn't watch it. Cracker. <laughs> That's the one you're worried about? <laughs> did you see uh, Shane Gillis' special on fucking Netflix? I don't think I did. He's got a bit in there where he talks about gay people um, and autistic kids. And he's like, if you, he's like anybody, he's convinced that being gay is a choice because he's like anybody who, de- who like can't think for themselves, like autistic people and stuff like that, they love tits. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I might've seen a clip of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> like <laughs> tits and John Cena, that's yes. where it's at. Yes. But this way, then you have air and uh, beer, but if you do it this way, you're hitting just the air. Mm-hmm. So you're just... Okay. Science. Learn, Science, kids. Yes. Learn that after a few squirts on your so. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you a squirter, dude? I think so. I don't know. You fuck with squirting? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah? Like, I don't know. I've never had a squirter. Would you let a girl, like, squirt on you? It depends on where we're at. Like, like you guys are, like... Mid sex, but like, and she's like, I'm, bu- I'm, where to are we doing? Oh, like at? in your room, like in my room. Yeah. That's a tough because there's no quiet squirters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, she, if she's squirting, she's making noise. Yeah, and I don't think I can do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very long talk. Yeah. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what, what were you doing last night? <laughs> ah, I, was, I, was, I was playing games. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, you know the lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to have her throw out a couple hard R's and they'll, play. <laughs> they'll be convinced. Yeah. Except for the part where chicks don't play games. <laughs> no, voice changers, dude. <laughs> That's a pretty good voice changer. <laughs> Uh, she's like, why was she saying your name? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Would you like to see the video? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. nah, I think, I don't know. I've never had a chick that was a squirter. Yeah. Like, I don't know. If I hear people say, like, all chicks are squirters. You just have to make her squirt. Oh, but yeah. I don't think that's true. Nah. Like, you, yeah, you have to be a squirter. Nah, for sure. Dude. You hey, if you're a squirter, shit. fucking comment. Hit me up, dog. We'll do it at your house, though. I'm not trying to clean. <laughs> not trying to clean. If we're doing it at my house, it's going to be plastic <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it's going to be very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's going to look like an old person home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get an air mattress. We can do this. <laughs> <shirt bag. laughs> I'm throwing that thing away. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I feel like that would actually be very romantic, and chicks wouldn't be down for that these days. What, like an air mattress? Yeah, like way? go somewhere, oh, yeah. just watch the stars, get your air, little air mattress, blow it up, sit yeah. in the bed, somewhere remote. Like, you can't see any stars here, like, yeah, for real, dude. stupid cities. There's no star in the sky. Yeah. It's just black. Makes me want to shoot it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not making the fifth episode. <laughs> Fans, you're gonna pull up. <laughs> yeah. The joke. Um, this comedian was talking about uh, during a stand-up set. He was like, "What do you think moves faster, society or technology?" Definitely technology. You think so? Yeah. Dude, technology. Mm-hmm. We're so far ahead in technology. The only limiting factor is money. See, but imagine this though. Like you're in like the 1970s and 1980s. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen first? Gay marriage or flying cars? I'm in the 1970s. Yeah. And somebody asks you, like, what do you think is going to be the first thing to happen? Gay marriage or flying cars? I don't know. This is a weird because back then it was like the same. Continue. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, they ruined the whole shot. Now, like, I think I'm just gonna have to cream my jorts. Huh? What? <laughs> Yo, fucking, where's the hole? You never creamed your jorts before? Uh, I can't say I have. Oh. Missing out, bro. Yeah, I need to fucking buy jorts first. You need a what? Buy some jorts. <laughs> I'm gonna get some jorts and a nice little Hawaiian shirt. And then I'm gonna get uh, some Nike socks and some Nike or Skechers or whatever those, those new balances. Oh, yeah, and yeah. We'll pull up to a Corvette meet. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Fit right We're in. We're gonna have to record that. But I don't know any Corvette meets. We gotta go to like an old, there's a little old school one down the street from my house that always, they go on like once a month. I just seen one of those uh, car pages that we follow for like the meets. They yeah. just posted like an all like GTR meet. Like all R35s and Statlines and shit, yeah. All right, so uh, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to the... <laughs> gonna have to cut that whole part out. But yeah, you're in the 1970s, yeah. the 80s. What do you think is gonna happen first? Gay marriage or flying cars? Well, I think it's always... It's kind of always been the same where... Like everybody knows gays are a thing, but at that time they don't want to accept it. Yeah. And it's not like... A open thing to just say you're gay yeah so and at that time they still they're they're still very 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 far behind and yeah in the 70s they're actually about to go downhill <laughs> but in I, technology but i feel like back then they were like i'm pretty sure somebody back then was like yo in 30 years we're gonna have flying cars. I, I think i think most people would say flying cars yeah and now same thing but you're back in the 1800s, you're like, somebody asks you, like, what do you think is gonna happen first? Free slaves or flying cars? <laughs> uh, depends what part of the 1800s. <laughs> the part where you have slaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. I think, I don't think flying cars is, or what did you say? Yeah, yeah flying cars. Okay. Because they, they, I mean, they didn't even have cars. Exactly. <laughs> but they just, they were so hell bent on the fact that slaves weren't going to be free, you know? They're like, I don't know what the fuck a car is, but <laughs> yeah, we're going to have fly cars first. <laughs> I, I guess, uh, I don't know. I feel like everybody knew. I, I personally think all of the people that owned slaves, mm -hmm. I don't believe they were actually like really as racist um, they're definitely racist yeah but i think it was all just it's, it's business you yeah. know you have to business. put on <laughs> you have to put on your full like if you're a plantation owner no one's going to take you seriously yeah if you're not fully racist and saying like the most outlandish things and you just hate people i feel like it's all you know it's just like it's like politics now yeah it's all a show i don't i don't know i don't see I also was never alive back then, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, everybody was like bred to be racist. Is your grandpa still alive? One of them is. Is he racist? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, yeah. I don't think racism was around when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk right now. Uh, I was totally gonna shotgun this. Oh, you're. I mean, there's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to drink this. It's really cold though. I'm not shotgun. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was like, we'll sip on it. I'm shotgun colder stuff. <laughs> ASMR sponsored by. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. Shut down. <laughs> Shut this down. <laughs> but if you guys want to sponsor us, this is really good. The best thing I've ever had. <laughs> Tastes just like Jack Daniels smooth and balanced Tennessee honey <laughs> lemonade, 355 milliliters, 7.0 percent alcohol per volume, and natural flavors. <laughs> uh, Healthy. Uh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Please sponsor us. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> All right, so. <clears throat> There's been a common thing about relationships these days <laughs> that nobody, so social media ruins like relationships. Yeah. So you can't ever be 
nobody, everybody wants a relationship, but nobody knows how to stay in a relationship. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So, I always think it's funny that what you always see these videos of a dude or a chick, you know, they come home. Like, a dude will come home and his chick sleeping with some other dude in his bed. Oh, yeah, And the yeah. dude, like, tries to fight him and pull a gun on him and whatever. <laughs> or same thing with the chick. Chick comes home, there's another chick in her bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, like, fight each other. Yeah. And they don't do anything to the person that's cheating. So I always say, I like to ask people, so if, if you were in, if you were married mm -hmm. five years, married for five years, same chick, you're like happy as far as you know, you're in a happy marriage, you have two kids. Yeah. You just come home one random day, you can get off early and you come home and you find your wife cheating on you with another dude. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna fight the dude? Are you gonna yell at her? Like, what are you gonna do? I always find this interesting. Um, yeah, I always thought it was weird that, you know, people would catch their significant other cheating and not do anything to their significant other. So I would feel like I would fucking, I would tell the dude to leave and I would fucking, now that there's no witnesses. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely, uh, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, hit my wife. But. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hit women. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely put more blame on my significant other than on like the other person. Cause I always thought it was weird that like, you know, they try to fight the, the, the random person, which I, obviously I am going to fucking like whoop their ass too. It depends if they knew that, like she was married or not, you know? Um, but I'm definitely like, I'm sitting both of them down with a gun in my hand and I'm like, yo, <laughs> start from the beginning. Tell me the whole fucking story. <laughs> like how long, where, when, <laughs> you know? Um, well, what, what are you doing? Uh, I don't, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a very violent person. Nah, nah. I also don't really care about stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I always said I wouldn't really care. You know, yeah. I come home. I think it's super disrespectful. Yeah. I come home, you're in my house, yeah. in my bed with my wife. Just hit him with a get out, go. Yeah, I would, I would, like if I walked in and I seen that, I would be very hurt. I'd yeah. probably be, I would want to stab this dude in the yeah, throat, yeah, yeah. but I would probably just be like. Both of y'all out. Just get out. Yeah. And I tell them both to leave and that's it. Like, I'd be like yeah. don't come back, you know, get your stuff. I don't, I don't want to be with you. So you with that too, I feel like the crazy part is, is that like, when you, whenever you see these things happen, like the cheater always comes back and tries to play victim. They do. I'm like, dog, do. there's no way you're doing that. I don't know, I don't see, uh, I've never been in like a super long relationship. Mm -hmm. And I've never been in like a real, I love you, I wanna be with you for the rest of my life relationship. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, but I don't see how hard it is to be with somebody. Like if you love them and you yeah. want to be with them, is it that hard to not cheat on them? Yeah. Like, especially if y'all are having problems, bro, like talk that shit out, bro. Don't be like, yo, fucking Julio is giving me attention. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> <You know? laughs> bro. I've, I've witnessed a lot of crazy situations and relationship problems and I don't know, man. To me, it's not worth it. Yeah, no. <laughs> like if you're, if you don't like her or you don't like him or yeah. just I, don't be quiet about it. Don't just sit there in silence and go cheat on him or her. Yeah. Like, talk about stuff. Nobody talks about things. I mean, I'm a man, be a man, you know, don't talk about your feelings. Yeah. Just suck it up and cry about it. Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> well, cry in mean, a shower, nobody can tell. Exactly, dude. There's water coming from every direction. Who knows yeah. if you're crying or if that's sh shower water. Also, why would people see you crying in the shower? Why the fuck are they in there with you? <laughs> oh. Huh? What? <laughs> you don't, uh, 
You got, <laughs> you got glass showers? <laughs> no, dude, I got a camera. Huh? What? You didn't, so you didn't watch that link I sent you? That's what that was? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't watch the stuff I sent you. Yeah, I see how it is. Yeah, after the first one of, like, you sent me a picture of your cock, I was... I it wasn't stopped. even mine, bro. Well, I stopped clicking links after you sent me a cock. <laughs> was, it was a nice cock. It was a nice cock, but... You gotta admire a nice cock. I did. I screenshotted it. And <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want you to know. I don't, I don't understand the double standard of mm -hmm. females and males about... There's a lot of things, but my biggest thing is... So, dudes can't go to the bathroom together, but chicks can. <laughs> like if I, if I, if we're somewhere public, yeah. you know, if say me and you go on a double date, we bring two chicks, we go to some like we go to like some, some like BJ's. Yeah. And then my girl was like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Your girls are like, oh, I'll go with you, and they go to the bathroom together, yeah. and it's totally normal. Yeah. But if I was to get up, I'm like, right, I'm gonna take a piss. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna go with you. And then yeah. they just look at you like, that's weird. Yeah. You can't, both can't go to the bathroom together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, so. Keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> and then same thing with like a changing room. Chicks always go in the same changing room together. And they, they I've been told by several chicks that they actually change in front of each other. Yeah. And they, like best friends, like best girl friends. Yeah. 100% they see each other's tits. I mean, like, we shower together, though. Yeah, but that's not normal. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah, but chicks can do it, and it's totally straight. But dudes do it, and it's gay. Yeah. It, it's a double standard. It doesn't make sense. I think, I think one of the... This pertains more to, like, jokes. But like, the, the, the double standard of jokes are also pissing me off. Like, my sister, if you're watching this, motherfucker... I don't like you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, I love She's you. fucking... She does this shit all the time, bro. Like, I'll call her a bitch, right? And like, it's in a joking setting. So she'll laugh one time I call her a bitch and I'll call her a bitch the next day in a joking setting again and she gets mad. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you laughed yesterday. You're not gonna get mad today. Laugh again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like same thing, dude, I, you know, it's just like, you can't pick and choose what, what's okay and what's not okay. That's how it works. <laughs> it's literally yeah. <laughs> it's either everything's okay or nothing's okay no that's and that's... with that said gotta <laughs> <laughs> legit do one of these like at your house yeah and yeah. we gotta be like we have to do a we should do a truth or drink video oh shit yeah yeah, dude, there's a bunch of games, like little like card games you could get too. Those are pretty gay though. I've, I've, there's uh, some there's some like cool ones. There's like the fucking there's like the 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 sex one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like either like blow the other guy or <laughs> drink. <laughs> uh, there's a couple actually like decent card games, but they're all they're all yeah. pretty they're all either way too like raunchy. Or they're just too stupid. Yeah. Who's they're raunchy? <laughs> <laughs> it's all like, you pick a card and it's like, text your ex, I love you, or take a drink. Oh, yeah. 100% like, I'm texting my ex and telling her I love you. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't think I could. I <laughs> like, me personally, I don't care. Yeah. But. Just for the bit. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. I think it's funny that people, I don't know. I get, you know, you're in a very long relationship and you miss her or whatever. Like, she might like you. Yeah. I don't understand the point of why did you break up, but you always come back to each other. That's just crazy. There's a, I've, a lot of relationship stuff I've seen. <laughs> I forget it's who always, I forget who it like was, that. bro. There was there were two people that were in high school. They would hang out in our group, but you know, I'm not gonna drop names, but <laughs> they'd be on and off like every day. <laughs> yeah. It's a wild story. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's seven in the morning, bro. Yeah, I don't even know that, dude. bro. <laughs> Fucking let me wake up first, dude. <laughs> then what, bro? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, shit, dude. Good good for you. 
But yeah, if we did it at my crib, like this, this new house is fucking small. So we did it, yeah, either we be in the garage. The, yeah, in the garage or in the backyard. I mean, we could do it in my house, but we could do it in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, we but could do it in the garage at my house too. I wouldn't recommend it at my house. <laughs> you can get drunk in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get fucking wasted, dude. Oh, uh, I'm gonna next, try to, I'm next try. weekend? What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna, figure, I'm gonna be in Hawaii. Oh, nice one. How long are you gonna be there for? Uh, come back Monday. You go for three days? Uh, to Thursday to Monday. Yeah. Like four days, five days. How many days is it? I can't count. Yeah. All I know is I'm gonna get on a plane and say Alu <laughs> Akbar. <so. laughs> no. You gotta wear a white t-shirt <laughs> and a Burger King hat crown. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna uh, stare at you the geez. whole flight. <laughs> Next time I'm getting on a flight, I'm wearing that. Don't care. Yeah. White, white T-shirt, Burger King crown, <laughs> and I'm sitting in the back. <laughs> 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 this video's gonna have a lot of bleeps <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> but no, dude, these double standards are fucking crazy, though. Yeah, I think the biggest one that everybody that females say, like, females say it's not fair. Yeah, that uh, dudes can be players, but females are just whores. I, oh, yeah. I don't I don't really like that double standard. I think it goes both ways, but at the same time dudes have a little more leniency. Yeah. Because I think a whore is a whore. You can be a dude whore or a girl whore. Yeah. You can be a dude slut or a chick slut. You can be, you know, a dude a dude player. You can be a dude player, but you can't be a girl player. Yeah. And I say that because it's really easy for chicks. It's really hard for dudes. Look, ladies, you guys can step outside your fucking front door, say who wants the fuck, and there'll be a line of guys out there. <laughs> but a guy says that, and he's going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> but I do believe, I believe there's a difference between a player, a slut, and a whore. And the difference is, first of all, a player is like a ladies' man. A player is just good with words. He can, like, talk. Yeah. Just any female he walks up to, he can just make them smile, make them laugh. That's the thing though, it takes effort to be a player. It does, but a player does not just walk around and like sleep with any chick. Like yeah. a player still has standards. A player will, he, a player can go to like a bar and talk up, he can be like, oh, go talk up her, go talk up her. He can walk, he can go to a bar and talk up the hottest chick in the bar and just talk to her and like get her to like him and he won't do anything about it. And he could just talk her up for a good 10 minutes, walk away, and go, just go enjoy his time. But a slut, so slut's like a borderline. So a slut likes to have sex, but they don't have sex to the point where they're a whore. So a slut will just go out and have sex with somebody because they want to have sex. It's just like, oh, you know, I want to have sex. So. Yeah, so. I feel like sluts are picky, whores are not. <laughs> yes, pretty much that sums it up. You can go, as a female, you can go to a bar and you can go out of the wide variety of dudes, 20 dudes in the bar, all 20 of them want to sleep with you. Guaranteed, even if they're in a relationship, they still want to sleep with you, but they're not going to admit that. Nobody's going to admit that. Yeah. But out of all 20 of them, you probably have a shot with at least 15 of them, maybe five of them are in a relationship. But <laughs> <laughs> as a slut, you can go around and you know you have a choice and you pick like which one you want. But a whore just goes around and sleeps with anybody. Yeah. Same thing with a dude, a dude slut. So it's, it's harder for a dude to convince a female to sleep with them. But I mean, if you know, you know, if you're like, if you're just yourself and you don't care, honestly, like it's not that hard especially if you're in a setting like a bar like most chicks go to bars because they want to meet people and they don't necessarily want to have sex but they want to meet people and yeah. you know dude or female if you're young you're at a bar and you meet somebody and you're like oh wow like you're really cool you know chances are you're probably gonna if you go back with them like you're gonna have sex with them which nobody's hating on you but yeah, if you go to the bar with your buddies or your girls, first of all, if you go to the bar with your buddies, <laughs> like, what I usually do is 
we go and we try to get one dude, like we try to get that guy, we try to get him a girl. So all of us will play into that. Yeah. And we'll all like go make friends with this friend group of females and we'll try to get him to go with her. And it, it comes like very apparent at a certain time and you can tell whether or not like they're into it or not. So I think there's a lot of dudes, I know a lot of dudes that are way too upfront and pushy about it. And they're just- Are you trying to fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, bro, like good on you. Yeah. You're not wasting anybody's time. <laughs> but even if she was, I don't know a single female yeah. in this world where you could just walk up to her and be like, hey, are you trying to like go back to my, clap, my house and like clap cheeks yeah. or what? And they're going to say yes. You have to be a solid 10 out of 10, Man. like $100 million to make an account <laughs> and she'll say yes. Otherwise, she's going to say no every time. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I haven't been to a bar in like fucking like three years. I think I before I die, this. I need to have a bar fight. Part of the video. <laughs> <laughs> this next part, you fuckers need to hear this because so you can stop, bro. These motherfuckers right. come on the mic. All right, so uh, how do you feel about Valorant? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's a fun game, but the people playing it weirdos, dog. I swear to God, I was playing like two nights ago. There's a, it's a lobby of five people. So it's me and four other people. Three of those four people were meowing into the mic. <laughs> Dudes? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Muted them instantly. <laughs> That's crazy. That's top tier comedy. Yeah. I guarantee you I'd be that guy. <laughs> like, if I was playing COD or anything with like a whole squad of four or five dudes, yeah. we're for sure me me meowing into a mic. Dude, that shit was fucking crazy. That, the first dude meowed, and obviously he didn't know any of the other people in the lobby. <laughs> so he was just hoping somebody would meow back, and somebody did. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? I guarantee fuck? you they're best friends now. <laughs> yeah. But that shit was crazy. Some other dude, he was, okay, so this guy brought up some great questions. He was like, he was, uh, he was like, would you rather drive drunk or drive jerking off? <laughs> <laughs> and then his other would you rather was some, I forget what the second one was, but the first one was, would you rather come on your face? And then the second would you rather was, would you rather come somewhere else? I don't remember where it was, but yeah, yeah this guy was, all other, all four of us in the lobby were calling him. Friend. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a shitty voiceover. <laughs> Red. <Reds. Yeah. laughs> Alright, how much do you have left in there? Like a quarter. Alright, chug it. ASMR. Uh, we came or well. <laughs> <laughs> we came. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> we come. <laughs> we come. <laughs> Uh, he, he's like super weird and I guarantee like half the stuff that I say he thinks I'm like for serious about it but yeah. I'm not and he's like oh I know you're not but I think he is yeah <laughs> he's like I guarantee you he thinks there's something wrong with me which I mean there's a lot of things wrong with me but oh yeah dude I work at the trade it's like we're all retarded yeah people <laughs> tell me to fucking see a therapist I'm like there's no shot right <laughs> so beer's for <laughs> dog. dog beer $20 a case therapy $150 an hour yeah. imagine you fucking go to therapy and you're not funny anymore that's true there's a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, factors, fucking, a lot of factors playing into it. Yeah. But yeah, continue. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> we were talking about something because there was just like, all right, I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so we were talking about some stuff. Yeah. And then he was like, we were talking something about this chick on OnlyFans or something. Like, oh, what if she had an OnlyFans? Because like, we're like, I swear she has an OnlyFans. Like, yeah. there's no way she doesn't. But... <laughs> we came up with this thing yeah. where uh, he was like, oh, dude, I'd subscribe. And <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, that's hilarious. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go around telling people, like, I'm just going to go randomly to, up to a chick, just walk up to her and be like, I'd subscribe, and then walk away. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty hilarious. I'm going to start doing it. So you know what I love? Gainal. There you go. <laughs> What are you doing after this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, what time is it? Not that it matters, but. Nine? Yeah, it's past my bedtime. Yeah, I have to cry in 20 minutes. <laughs>
<laughs> I already cried. We're good. Oh, shit, dude. You should have told me. I would have fucking cried earlier. <laughs> FaceTime me real quick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's go. Imagine you just start crying at the bar. <laughs> Ultimate fucking chick magic. I miss her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. Oh, dude, that'd be... That'd be pretty embarrassing. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't think I've ever... All right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this, take me back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could. No? Wasn't meant to be. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. All right, we're actually going to start this from scratch and right. pretend we never did this before. <coughs> <coughs> All right, first time. <laughs> Take one. Oh, get the clip on here. All right. Knee deep in the water somewhere. Knee Spare deep in your zone. bitch. Hey, yo. <laughs> that's fucking That's good. crazy. <laughs> it got the toes coming out of her mouth, dude. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. No lord. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we get kicked out of a bar. <laughs> so we're back with another episode of Will It Shotgun, and today we have this very, very weird beer from Knee Deep Brewing Co., which I've had a couple of their stuff before, and oh, they're all kind of the same. They're all IPA weird stuff, but this one's called Breaking Bud. It's a, it's a play on Breaking Bad. It's got this weird guy. I don't really know how to feel. It's pretty cool, pretty cool label. It is 6.5%. That's kind of giving me Rick and Morty vibes. Yeah. But uh, usually it says Indian pale ale, but if you can see right here, it says India pale ale. I don't know if that was a typo or if that's supposed to be right, but. Shout out to India. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> India, I guess. From the looks of it, it's just supposed to be a normal IPA, typical. <laughs> zesty tastes like orange peel type of vibe it is how many liters is it um one pint one pint whatever that means yeah anyways anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway anywho um there's nothing too special about it uh, i just really like the uh the print on it it's really cool when i go for uh, IPAs, they all basically taste the same, so I go for the print. So if you are a uh, local oh. brewing co and you want people to drink your beer, just have a cool can. If you have a cool can, most people are already drunk when they're buying beer. Guaranteed. So they're like, oh, dude, that's a cool can. Let me get that one. Uh, also, make it more percent. I would like to see 10%. Yeah. You want the part with the hole it punches out, you want that up and you're gonna wanna tilt it diagonal so there's a little bit of air gap right here. And you wanna take your knife, you make a small incision right there. See, very minimal suddage. And you wanna re ream your hole out. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, you take that one. All right, go ahead. And then I'll do this. <laughs> Same. Hey, don't ask why. <laughs> Same thing, tilt your can. Small holage. Ream it out. Now you definitely want to pack your hole a little bit. Make sure no metal sticking out. We're good. We're, we're good. Safe. Yeah, we're good. All right. Now you want to wipe, wipe your knife off. Very big step. It's going to be sticky. You don't want that. Put that back in your pocket. All right. Very zesty, orange peely. All right. Everybody knows the rules. If you don't finish it in one shot, you're gay. All right. Cheers to the queers. It's one of the more uh, ah. more carbonated IPAs I'm drinking. I feel like I'm about to float away. <coughs> very, very sudsy. Ah. Went down pretty decently until the end where all the suds hit me. Yeah. Not so, a lot of zest. Yeah, it went down really, really good. 
I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10. I back that. I definitely, it's borderline, I would do it again. So I definitely say it will shotgun. Breaking Bud, 5 out of 10. Will shotgun, knee deep, brewing cup. Uh, Keep on doing what you're doing. Fuck, dude, that shit's fucking <laughs> feeling, dude. Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you, don't, you don't shotgun. You're, you're going to yak when you get home. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. We ain't yakking, bro. All right. This is a good, uh, Yo, good you... topic to talk about. Oh, wait. Hold on. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, like, if you were getting head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Cock check. <laughs> all right, so if you're getting head and you're trying to get her to take all of it and she yaks, are you still going? I honestly, I think I'm going to be pretty proud of myself. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Facts, like, dog. All right, you take a break. Facts, dog. <laughs> I, my ego, through the roof. It's, I'm, I'm hitting the lottery after that one. I'm buying lottery tickets. Facts. <laughs> All right, what were you saying? <laughs> uh, just, uh, okay, I remember. Okay, so this is a very, very controversial topic that I've talked to a lot of people about. It's either one or the other. You don't, it's not a, oh. you're not midway through. It's either one or the other. Oh. So, uh, unfortunately, oh. well, actually, fortunately, I know a lot of alcoholics, so I have a good time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, usually what happens is, you know, you have a weekend. I, only, I have weekends off, so I work super hard all week long, you know, eight, ten hour days or whatever. If I have to drive, I drive a lot, whatever. Moral of the story <laughs> is I work in the trades, so obviously I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. So... You know, you work all week long, you don't drink, you don't, you know, you work all these long hours, you come home, you eat, you go to sleep, and then the weekend comes. And those Saturday and Sunday are the only two days that you have where you can be, you know, efficient and productive because you're either out of town all week or you're working too, too many hours to where you come home and you just don't want to do anything. So weekend come along, you and your boys, you know, Say, you know, Saturday morning, you know, you're working on your car, you're working on your house, you're doing something productive. You, six o'clock, seven o'clock comes along, you're getting done with whatever you're doing. You call the boys up, you're like, hey, come over, or hey, let's go do something. And you guys end up getting drunk. So the big controversial topic is if you're getting drunk to the point where, you know, you're almost blackout drunk, before you go to sleep, do you puke and rally, <laughs> or do you just write it out? And this is this is very 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 controversial topic because I've talked to a lot of people, and it's like 50-50 for me. A lot of people are pro puke and rally. They go hard, super hard, super fast, and they go and they puke, and they come back and they go hard, and then they puke before they go to sleep. And they sleep like a baby, and they wake up, no hangover. Uh, and then you got the hardcore dudes that are like, I'm not going to puke. I'm not going to, you know, that's a sign of weakness. I'm just going to drink. I know how to handle my alcohol. And they drink, as, they drink as much as the other guy, and they don't puke. And they wake up, and they have, like, the worst hangover ever. And I've witnessed that. It's usually how it goes. So I've notice that if you drink really 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 hard to the point where you're almost going to black out you should definitely puke even if you don't have to i'm gonna go puke <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't have to suck up your pride and puke before you go to sleep because you will wake up with no hangover and you'll wake up way better than you are because i've been the guy that i have too much pride in myself because i'm young and i know how to handle my alcohol i know that I can drink. I know how much I can drink. How much sugar I know what I can drink. So I don't puke. I've never been the puking guy. The only time I puke is when I don't know how to handle my alcohol and I get absolutely obliterated and then I'll puke. But yo, am I retarded? I've seen it and I've lived through it. And my honest opinion is even if you don't have to puke, 
you should puke before you go to sleep. Or do you suck up your pride and not puke? I'm not gonna lie, I don't puke. The, the, actually I've never thrown up alcohol. The last time I thrown up was because I had a banana and I'm slightly allergic to bananas. That's pretty gay. Yeah, dude. If I, I had bananas my whole life and then three years ago, my body doesn't like bananas. But no, I definitely suck up my pride. I fucking, I'm not gonna lie, when I drink, I do whiskey and Coke. I do zero sugar Coke. Cause I know that's just not gonna give me a hangover. Yeah. But I feel like, like I said, I've been using whiskey to go to sleep. I have like five, six shots to put me to sleep. I'd be waking up feeling phenomenal, bro. I slept like a baby. <laughs> and- uh, Might be an alcoholic. Oh, absolutely. I don't deny <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a suck it, suck it up kind of guy. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> nice. Uh, but definitely, definitely, I'm not puking before I go to sleep. But do you wake up with hangovers or like your head hurts really bad? My head does hurt, but that hasn't happened since, that happened once a long time ago. And that's why I switched to zero sugar. And then I haven't, it hasn't happened since. So I haven't woken up with a hangover in about years now. So that's why I suck up my pride. <coughs> Cause I know I'm not a bitch until I have too much alcohol and that shit humbles me. <laughs> Which it might tonight. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> that wasn't even that much, dude. No, no, dude, not at all. But I think it's just like the carbonation that fucks oh, me yeah. up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you were shotgunning, so. Shotgunning yeah. always gets people. Yeah. I'm I'm a big shotgunner. Like you, you ever tried that uh, that Sprite cha challenge, where you get the little bottle of Sprite, and you try to chug it without fucking burping. Uh -uh. Dude, that's fucking impossible. But you get like the little like the little bottle of Sprite, and you just try to chug it, and then if you like burp before you finish, you just lose. But I have not had time to like actually take a female out on a date. Oh yeah. For like a good month. Yeah. And it's actually been very very like therapeutic <laughs> because yeah. like literally the last month I've been hanging out with like the boys every weekend or yeah. I do something productive go do something and it's it's very it's very like nice because I don't have I don't have like the care in me yeah because a lot of females these days are they're too like picky and they're too, they try to play a game. Like yeah. I don't have time for this game that you want to play. Like I'm not going to play it with you. Mm -hmm. So it's actually been very, very nice. Yeah. See, that's the crazy thing too. Like I think with females nowadays, dude, they're like, you got to do this for me. You got to do that for me. And then they bring nothing to the table. That's very <laughs> valid. That's why they have an OnlyFans. Yeah, dude. I'm like, you got to fucking, you got to take me out. You got to open my door. You got to fucking do this for me. You got to do that for me. I'm like, what are you doing for me, though? Okay, but <laughs> the crazy thing is, like, I'm like a blue collar dude. Yeah. And I was raised on, like, respect with women. Yeah. And I'm, like, traditional values, like husband yeah. and wife. And I'm very, very much traditional value kind of guy. I have no problem. Oh, hold on. Uh, we probably should have had these alcoholic beverages. How you doing? Just hanging out? Yeah, we're just making videos. <laughs> just like just like a, podcast. a podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, honestly, everything. <laughs> just anything, yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, sorry, am I interrupting? No, no, no you're, you're good. good. <laughs> you're good. Hey, AJ. AJ Luis. Yeah, nice when to meet you, man. What happens, uh, just press that e phone. Yeah. We've had people get assaulted on campus. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Stuff yeah, yeah. This campus or this structure, so. Okay. Just press that e phone. I'll try to get here as fast as possible. Okay. All right, for sure. Yeah, we'll be out of here pretty soon. All right, yeah. 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 So, do you guys just talk about stuff like, yo, rub your shit or what? <laughs> yeah, just honestly, anything that's going on, yeah. <laughs> like, like, what are you guys coming right now? Uh, you right now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, right now we were just talking like double standards in like males and females. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, um, like, oh, draft. Draft, mm -hmm. select a service? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, did you 
guys sign up for the draft or no? Nah, I'm already well, in the I mean, military. Don't you have to? Yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 <laughs> you have to. Otherwise, it's like a $250,000 phone. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's crazy. So, and then girls don't do that. Yeah. That's yeah. the standard. You know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, it's it. Yeah, there's a plethora of things. The only one that bugs me is like they can kill a baby and abort it, but we can't say no to being a father. But they can say no. Exactly. To being a father. Exactly. That dog. bothers the shit out. Of me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, wait, hold on. It's like Dave Chappelle said it. You can kill a motherfucker, but you can't abandon him. Yeah. It nope. makes sense. Yeah. Nope. I'm, I'm not perfect. <laughs> allowed to say that. Right. Like, yeah. You can, you're allowed to kill a baby. Yeah. But not not like up to like they want to do it until nine months. It's beating. Yeah. Oh yeah. By then, some people want it to be able to do that. You know, yeah. Yeah, like like in New York, after yeah. when the baby is born, yeah. you could have a special doctor come in and say, "Oh, you're not fit as a as a mother, yeah. so yeah. we can kill it." Yeah. After it's already born it's and. All, it's all yeah. Born. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Like, okay, so what are we gonna do? Like undesirables, all the liberals are undesirable by a lot of Republicans and vice versa. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, <laughs> are we gonna just cut off? Okay. Yeah, this is, right, we have the bell curve, right? Yeah. This population has 2.5, which is 5% of the population, right? So we mm-hmm. just murder all those people, and we do that for the conservatives too. Yeah. 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 There's a whole rabbit hole. Yeah. Nothing really makes sense <laughs> in these exactly. times. Yeah.